I'm really interested in, in this kind of pendulum swing. This kind of desire to be able to feel and touch and smell materials. And then the other end of the pendulum being the reality that we have a kind of distance from materials because we have so much time with images. That time with images, I think, is very different than any other time with images that I've known in my lifetime, and I think it's changing radically with each generation. You know, you don't know the authorship of an image when it gets to you. You can manipulate it and you can send it. It's a kind of images as debris. We've learned to read images very quickly. So all of the images that are in the gallery show have to do with images that make you feel as if they could be anywhere at any time. Images of landscape shoot you into kind of a vast time and space. It changes your sense of time in the seeing. This room to me is really about the intersection of painting and sculpture. I wanted to sort of pull out everything that was sort of nameable um, in my work and have people look at fragments of both paint and images coming together, filtering together, and then falling apart. When you come in, you start to see things as holes. All of the edges of the work sort of line up in very different angles you actually see the room sort of almost come together in terms of these kind of floating frames. So you have this experience in time and space of not knowing when a work begins, when a work ends. This is how we see the world. We don't see things in white boxes. How do we just talk about the luxuriousness of the material, not material representing something else? How does paint behave in space? How does it feel? How does it dry? How does it hear? When you see the paper as a pile, you sort of question what's happened to the image. That's a place where the materiality in the sculpture and the image, I think, actually, they meet. That kind of behavior, that kind of tactility, the volume on its value, I think, has turned up. Because we have so much illusion, but we don't have touch, and we don't have taste, and we don't have smell, we don't have that intimacy with images.